Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Coding Cafe. So now from this tutorial onward, we are going to start work on the chat system properly. As you know that in the previous tutorial, we have successfully created this chat activity. So now let's start work on that. So first of all, let's change this relative um, constant layout to the relative layout so we can say a relative layout. So this is our relative layout. Now the next thing which we need is we need to include here a toolbar so we can say include and that should be our uh, layout so we can say layout and let's give it some ID so the first we have to include the layout so we can say layout and it is by the name a bar layout I hope you remembered that okay and yeah and now close this And now the next thing is to give it some IDs, okay? Some ID to it. So as we are, we will be using it on our chat activity. So we can give it ID as Android ID ID, and the ID for this will be chat bar layout. Now the second thing which we will be needing is you can see that this is our chat bar layout. Now the second thing which we will be needing is the recycler view. Here where we will uh, here we will basically display the messages. So let's include that also. So here we can say or instead of writing the code, we can simply drag and drop the recycler view from here. So uh, click this recycler view, select this and drop this recycler view here. So this is our recycler view. You can see that. And now let's do some changes to this. So the ID for this recycler view will be messages list of user messages underscore list of users okay so this will be basically a messages list that is we can display here the messages and the second thing is that is we need to include here at the bottom here we need to include a send message button and edit text and a button for sending files so let's do that so here we can create a linear layout so this is our linear layout match parent wrap content and inside this what we're gonna do first let uh, do some designing you can say for this linear layout some properties we are going to assign it so it should be a line parent bottom okay a line parent bottom to true a line parent start to true and android background android and it should be background light color which is this one background light and the most important thing is the orientation so it should be horizontal and the next thing is to give it some ID so the ID for our this linear layout will be let's call it as uh, my linear layout and it should be here at the bottom so what we're gonna do here when we say layout below so here we can say layout above okay so which is this one android layout above id and we will pass that my linear layout id to there okay so copy this from here and pass that id here you can see that okay and yeah so now we need uh, to add a button here inside this linear layout so we can create a image button so we can say image button which should be 50 dp and the height should be wrap content and the source for this button will be android source so these are the two icons which we will be using okay one is the for selecting a file or you can say an image file and one is for the send message okay so you can see the link will be available in the description down below for these icons okay so you can simply click on that link and copy these two icons and once you copy that 
then you can see that the this is the name of these icons okay i see send message and one is i see select image okay so you can simply uh, cut these uh, icons from here and here you can simply go to this drawable and here you can simply click on show in explorer and it will open this drawable folder and paste your both of these icons here okay so you can see that these are the names of this icon i see send message and i see select image so now uh, the android source for our first image button will be i see select image which is this one okay you can see that here at the bottom if i zoom it then you can see that okay now the let's give it some id to our this first button for selecting an image file so we can call it as uh, id and id for this will be sent image file button send image file button and after that we need uh, an edit text so to write a text a user will write a text message on that so you can say edit text with 2 http high trap content and the hint for this will be android hint so the hint will be write your message here and let's give it some padding from all the sides so the padding will be 17 dp so yeah that's it and let's give it some id to this so the id for this will be input underscore message and now we need another button for sending the message so we can simply copy this image button from here and we will change it for the send message button okay so first of all change this id to uh, send message button underscore button and the source for this will be ic send message as it is the name of the uh, icon okay inside the drawable folder you can see that here it is okay and uh, yeah everything is okay now and this change this from 50 to 60 okay yes it is perfect now 50 is good i mean 50 looks proper with this layout so yeah that's it and come here to the recycle review let's assign some background to this so you can say android background and the background will be android and the color which we will give it uh, to it as darker darker gray you can see this one okay darker gray so you can see that it looks more beautiful it is totally up to you if you want to assign background to this recycler view then you can give it like that if you do not want then leave it uh, as it's white okay so yeah that's it for our i mean for the design of our chat activity so we have the design the layout for that and now the next thing is to go to the chat activity and let's initialize this fields here so here we can say first private so the first one is the toolbar so we can say toolbar and let's call this as chat toolbar and the second thing is the image button the two images button so you can say private image button and the first one is the send message button send and the second one is the send image button image file button for now we will just allow the user to send text messages uh, i mean to his friend from school college university or anywhere and uh, the file images that is uh, he the user will be able to send image file as a message to his friend but if you want you guys want to add the other files like audio files and audio messages then let me know in the comment section down below so that we can work on that also and we will also allow the user to exchange audio message and video messages with each other so if i receive uh, too many requests for that then i will definitely include that also 
the next thing is the private edit text for getting the text okay so we can we can call this as user message input and the next one is the recycler view so you can say private recycler view and we can call this as user message list messages list and now inside our on create method here we can uh, cast these fields so for doing that first we let's create a method we can call it as initialize fields so this is the name of our method which we are going to create now so you can see that this is the method initialize fields method and inside this method what we're going to do we can say chat toolbar equals to toolbar find view by id or dot id dot and the id for this toolbar is chat bar layout so we can say chat bar layout set support action bar chat toolbar and here we get this error and it is because we import the wrong library so what we're gonna do here you can see this android widget toolbar okay so all you gonna need is to include here as dot support dot v7 dot widget dot toolbar you can see that okay so you can simply include this dot support dot v7 dot widget dot toolbar you can see that and now if i scroll down then you can see the error is gone successfully so the next thing is the send message button okay and we will work on the on the recycler view when we will be retrieving the messages first we have to allow a user to send a message so one, once we do that then we will work on the recycler view to retrieve the messages from the firebase database so first let's initialize this so you can say send message button is equals to image button or dot id dot send send message button and let's copy this and we will paste it for the image button that is send image button image file button and the id for this is send image file button and the next one is the edit text so we uh, it is by the name user message input so we can say user message input equals edit text so the id for this is the order id dot uh, user let me check the id first it is uh, input message so we can say input input message so yeah this is all about the initialization of our image button and edit text fields now the next thing which we will be needing is to get the uh, user uh, id as i told you in the previous tutorial so let's go back to the friends activity and then you will understand everything so if i scroll here here when we were working on this that is if we send the user that is if which becomes equals to one so we are going to send the user to the chat activity so here we have this chat in chat intent dot put extra that is we are basically sending the id of that user that is on which profile we click okay so that id we are sending to the chat activity so alongside with that uh, as you know that we have retrieved the username here from the database so we will also send this so what we gonna do now here uh, we can copy this chat intent dot put extra and we will send the username alongside with the visit underscore user id so here we can say user name and it is by the name user name so yeah that's it and now we have to receive these two uh, things from the, our friends activity so here inside our on create method above from this initialize fields method which you are calling here here we can say 
first we need to create two string type variables so let's create that we can call a private string and the first one will be uh, we can call it as message receiver ID and the second one will be the message receiver name so yeah that's it and now here we can uh, simply say message receiver ID equals to get intent dot get extras dot get and make sure to use the same name which we, we are using here okay so for the id we have visit underscore user id and paste that here and then we can say dot to string and copy this and paste it down below and instead of that we can now say message receiver name and the name of this is username so copy this and paste that here okay so yeah in this way we received information from our previous uh, from the friends activity so we will be needing this okay so yeah that's it for this video so let's run our app and to check either it is working or not that is how the design looks so our app is running now successfully and now let's go to the messages so let's click on any profile send message and here we go it is here the beautiful layout for our chat activity so when a user click here then he will be able we will work on that in the upcoming tutorial as you know that in this video just we designed the layout for our chat activity so this is for uh, this button is for sending the files the image files and it's for sending the messages so now in the next video tutorial what we're going to do first that is whenever i click here on any profile that is let's say i'm going to click on amon Ford profile and i click send a message then here we will basically display the profile image of that user that is amon Ford, and here her name will appear so if i click on any profile that is let's say i'm going to click on mohammed ali share profile then here will be Mohammed Ali share profile picture and here will be his name okay so we will first add that and yeah that's it for this video and as I told you if you want me to add uh, functionalities like sending audio messages and video messages then you can let me know in the comment section down below so for now we will just add the messages functionality that is the user will be able to send message to his friend and a text message to his friend so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will further work on it so take care of yourself and bye for now